good morning students today we are going to discuss about module number 2 that is network theorems here we are going to discuss about that superposition theorem and its problems on superposition theorem let us discuss about uh, superposition theorem so if you see that uh, statement of superposition theorem the statement of superposition theorem st states that uh, in any two terminal linear bilateral network uh, consists of uh, multiple independent sources then the current response or voltage response in any element uh, is equal to algebraic sum of the responses which are caused individually acting alone while other sources has been open circuited as short circuited voltage sources are open circuited and current sources are short circuited by considering its internal resistance this is the statement of superposition theorem next what are the limitations of superposition theorem superposition theorem is a fundamental property which is applicable for linear equations and therefore superposition theorem applies only to the current and voltage response in a linear circuit and it is not possible to find the power responses for non-linear function these are the limitations of superposition theorem next let us see that a problem on superposition theorem and how it is useful to find out that uh, unknown response at here as we already studied that number of techniques like uh, kirchhoff's voltage law kirchhoff's current law then ohm's law then followed by nodal analysis super nodal analysis mesh analysis super mesh analysis cut set tie set then again here we are discussing about that theorems like superposition theorem because these are the some of the techniques which are useful or which has apt to the given complexity of the circuits to overcome the difficulty and to find out that unknown response let us see that a problem on superposition theorem that is find the find the current in the 6 ohm resistor using the principle of superposition for the circuit shown in figure so this is the circuit what they given to us so if we want to find out that uh, the current in the 6 ohm resistor if you see this circuit in this circuit where is the 6 ohm resistor the 6 ohm resistor is located especially or exactly at the boundaries of the two circuits or boundaries of the Two loops this is for example loop 1 or loop 2 or mesh 1 or mesh 2 so 6 ohms is nothing but the resistor which is located at the boundaries of the two loops or two meshes or simply it is called as a resistor for the two loops so the overall current in the 6 ohm resistor which is nothing but algebraic sum of the currents which are caused by the 6 volts voltage source and 2 amperes current source individually to find out that unknown response that is current which is flowing through the 6 ohms resistor let us consider the first case of the circuit this is case 1 circuit in this case 1 circuit i am keeping that 6 volts voltage source as acting position and 2 amperes current source is removed at this position then this circuit shows that where we are going to consider that individually each and every source and we are finding the response that is nothing but the amount of the current which is flowing through the 6 ohms resistor due to the presence of this voltage source that is 6 volts voltage source now in this first step the amount of the current which is flowing through the 6 ohms resistor that is i1 i1 is equal v by r equivalent here v is nothing but 6 volts voltage source and r equivalent is equal to the sum of the the sum of the two resistors here what is the sum of the two resistors the sum of the two resistors here it is 
थ्री प्लस सिक्स ओम्स सो आई वन इज इक्वल सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री प्लस सिक्स इट इट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स बाय नाइन एमपीएस सो द अमाउंट ऑफ द करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू दैट आई वन द अमाउंट ऑफ द करंट व्हिच इज आई वन व्हेन सिक्स ओम्स वोल्टेज सोस इन एक्टिंग पोजीशन द अमाउंट ऑफ द करंट व्हिच इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू द सिक्स ओम्स इज आई वन एंड आई वन नाउ इट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स बाय नाइन एमपीएस वाइल सिक्स वोल्स वोल्टेज सोस इज इंडिविजुअली एक्टिंग अलोन द नेक्स्ट केस इज now for the given original circuit in this original circuit the second case is i am keeping the 2 amps current source is acting position and this 6 volts voltage source is short circuited by considering its internal resistance then the modified circuit is shown in this figure in this figure again according to the principle of superposition theorem here this 2 amps current source is individually we are putting in acting position and this 6 volts voltage source is short circuited by considering its internal resistance according to the principle of superposition theorem now what is the current which is flowing through the 6 ohms resistor that is i2 so what is i2 here at this case the value of i2 at this case it is i2 is equal total current that is 2 amps 2 amps into opposite branch of the 6 ohm resistor is this 3 ohms so 3 ohms divided by total resistance total resistance is 6 and 3 so 6 plus 3 so if you do the simplification here we got 2 3 is us 6 in the numerator and denominator 6 plus 3 it is 9 so it is 6 by 9 amps now according to the statement of superposition theorem that is The response in any element is equal to algebraic sum of the responses which are cause individually acting alone, while other sources has been voltage sources, while other voltage sources has been short voltage sources are short circuited and current sources are open circuited. While we are finding that overall response, so like this here in the two cases we got the first case here we got that six by nine amps. In the second case again we got here it is another six by nine amps. Now the algebraic sum of these two currents that is. Total current I is equal I one plus I two. If I is equal I one plus I two, six by nine plus six by nine, twelve by nine amps is the overall answer according to the principle of superposition theorem. Next. Next, we are going to solve that one more problem. So the problem is find the terminal voltage V A B using superposition principle. so this is the circuit diagram what they given here so in this circuit diagram here we have to find out that vab value that is our question by using that principle of superposition theorem let us see that the solution how we can find out that the value of vab if you see that this circuit very closely there is a logic to find out that vab in the problem itself they given here it is vab therefore vab is nothing but the voltage which was offered across the terminals a to b so to find out that voltage across the terminals a to b that is vab means we have to apply kirchhoff's voltage law we have to apply kirchhoff's voltage law and we have to find out the vab value so let us see that how to find out that vab value by applying the kirchhoff's voltage law so now i am going to find out that vab value okay now by using kirchhoff's voltage law that to in case 1 where i am keeping that 4 volts voltage source in acting position and this current source this current source i am ignored at here at case 1 in case 1 if i am ignored according to the principle of superposition theorem because i want to keep only one voltage source in acting position and other source is open circuited or short circuited if current source is means open circuited here it is a current source and it is this current source i am is I am open circuited here. Then the simplified circuit is this one. For this circuit, I want to apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law. If I am going to apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law for reference, now the current is flowing from minus polarity onwards. Means I can write it is minus four by applying KVL in clockwise direction. And ten into I here I value is zero because it is a open circuited. So ten into zero plus three A three. V A B one three V A B one and again here plus V A B one is equal zero. Then if you simplify this equation, here we got 
थ्री ए वी बी वन प्लस वी ए बी वन फोर फोर वी ए बी वन एंड दिस टेंडिंग टू जीरो इज जीरो एंड माइनस फोर इफ आई एम सेंडिंग टू दैट साइड बिकम्स प्लस फोर नाउ फोर वी ए बी वन फोर वी ए बी वन इज इक्वल फोर एंड वी ए बी वन इज इक्वल वन वोल्ट सो वी ए बी वन इज इक्वल वन वोल्ट वैन वी आर कीपिंग दैट फोर वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स इन एक्टिंग पोर्शन वाइल अदर करेंट सोर्स इज ओपन सर्क्यूटेड फ्रॉम केस वन नाउ लेट अस सी दैट केस टू वेर आई एम गोइंग टू कीप दैट ओनली टू एम पी एस करेंट सोर्स इन एक्टिंग पोर्शन एंड दिस फोर वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स इज शॉर्ट सर्क्यूटेड बाई कंसलिंग इट्स इंटरनल रेसिस्टेंस फॉर दिस सर्क्यूट वॉट इज द VA B2. I am going to consider here it as a VA B2 at case two. While I am considering that two amps current source in acting position and four volts voltage source is short circuited by considering its internal resistance. Now I am going to apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law again. If I am going to apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law again, then the KVL equation follows as like this. If you see that KVL equation, how it follows? For example, the current flowing in this circuit, according to this current source, I may know that the value of current here it is two amps. So according to that one, if I am going to apply the, if I am going to apply the KVL, let us see that the value how we got. Now, now for suppose if current is flowing in anti-clockwise direction in this circuit, then here. Here it becomes. Here it becomes that current value as. If you see that here, here we got that current value as. Here it becomes like. If current is flowing in anti-clockwise direction, means like this. Here we can write it as. Minus three V A B two. Again minus V A B two. Then plus ten into two is equal zero. So if you send that minus three A B B A two minus V A B two, that side becomes minus four V A B two. Minus four V A B two is equal twenty. I want V A B two. If V A B two is equal twenty by four, and it becomes five, so it becomes five volts at here by applying the. Here we got that V A B two is equal five volts. So in case one V A B one is equal one volt. In case two it is five volts. The sum of these two cases. Is nothing but the algebraic sum of these two responses is equal to overall response that is V A B one. Therefore, the overall answer is that is one plus five volts, that is six volts. Thank you.